charge of things this evening. It's just gone nine o'clock in the evening local time here in Doha, Qatar. And it's been a, a well-supported day as well here. It's gone a little bit quiet now, but there is a, a good pocket of El Salvador fans just opposite where the players sit on the benches. And they, I'm sure, will make plenty of noise to try and inspire, inspire their side to victory over the next 36 minutes of play. Games really get underway tomorrow and on Sunday. It's the opening ceremony tomorrow. No beach football tomorrow. We're back on Sunday with another 12 matches across two pitches. And it will be El Salvador to get us underway here wearing the blue shirts against the famous red and white of Russia. So three 12 minute periods. All right, yes, ready. Here we go. and spills are we in for here tonight. Early shot straight away there from Agustin, but well wide of the target. It have been a hell of a start for El Salvador had they managed to find a way through with that one. Very experienced goalkeeper in for Russia. Pavel Bazanov. Both sides, or both teams, of teams, or all the teams have two goalkeepers. So the goalkeepers can be rotated the same as the outfield players. Is Makarov to get the shot in, which was blocked. Okay, Fast-paced game. This no time to rest on your laurels. That's where you will see the rolling substitutes. Early throw for the Russians, hooked away by Augustin, who had that shot a moment or so ago. Makarov. Shekharin, captain. No offsides in beach volleyball. You can see the beach is soccer rally. You can see the two Russians pushing on there. Novikov wearing number three and Dunonarov number 20. Trying to put a bit of pressure on Portillo's goal early on. Referee's given a foul here. Uh, an infringement on the substitution so the substitutions have to be made in a regulated fashion in the zone and the bib has to be handed to the player that's coming off and there's been a substitute infringement there by El Salvador which will give Russia a free kick free kicks go unopposed in beach soccer so he will have a, a clear shot at goal it's a long way out though but we've seen some vicious strikes already Paparatin that will take the kick. As you can see the ball oh, made into a, a little mound and the heartbeat just raises attention here. Went for side foot and into the bottom corner to put Russia in front. So a goal inside the opening two minutes. Arta. Paparazzi with the goal. We've seen a lot of players try power, but it seems that the placement often can be the, the one that catches out the goalkeepers. He was a long way out, but he still managed to find a way past Portillo. And Russia lead. Back on the line, it is the man who just scored the goal. Paparazzi, as El Salvador looked to get back into this one. Straight away, right. Hebert with the shot, came off the backside of Romanov. His crash, uh, Exxon rather. Back to Portillo. Let's go, Let's go. Augustin again. Nicknamed Tin, apparently. Jose Augustin Ruiz Gonzalez because of his small stature. Oh, another chance of a rushing goal. Oh, it's been cleared off the line, has it? Brilliantly done. Well, it looked for all the world as if Russia were going two up there, but it's a wonderful clearance off the line. And now El Salvador at the other end. Looking to counter, Hebert. Well, hopefully we'll have a look in a moment to see how close that was. It seemed a mere formality that Russia would score a second. Portillo. For goal himself, he was stopped right in front of goal. 
the summer or possibly claiming a handball. It's had everything at the moment, the opening two and a half minutes. We've still got 9.40 to go in the opening period. There's Portillo. Four Russian substitutes, as you can see, they're waiting to come on. All about the rotation. Keeping the fresh legs on, it's an energy sapper running on the sand. They're still around about 30 degrees here as well and quite humid now. That's going to have an effect as the game wears on. Shakri back to the goalkeeper. Oh, he's allowed him to run and almost goes in for an own goal. It's going to be embarrassing. Portillo makes the save and spills it. Makarov unable to follow up. Well, that could have been embarrassing for Pavel Bazanov. Just stop the ball on the line. The overhead from Elmer. Ranked third in the CONCACAF region behind Mexico and the USA, El Salvador. Well, the two teams in this group playing on the adjacent pitch at the moment, Japan and Uruguay. Batres, crowned out by three players, corner given away by Novikov. Salvador are back in the game. Well, it's been a fascinating start. Could have had an own goal. And a clearance off the line. And now Russia find themselves pegged back level at 1 1. Driven across by Crash. That yeah, deflection. Russian throw. And 47 here. Portugal rank above oh. Russia in the oh. UEFA oh. rankings. Oh. Okay. Established a while, 1996, they lost their first international to Italy in Rio de Janeiro. Okay. It's one of the powerhouses okay. of beach soccer, though. Go to Paraguay in the Beach Soccer World Cup next month, their seventh appearance at the finals. Oh. Portillo getting in on the act, forcing Basanov into the save. Well, chances for both sides in the opening minutes here, 6.50 to go in the first period. Keenly contested, I think, is a, a good word to describe this one at the moment. Shishin. We'll find that there'll be a lot of shots for sometimes very little conversion with players shooting from everywhere. Overhead just beaten away by Bazanov. I think he's gone out for a corner. Just bobbled up awkwardly in front of the goalkeeper. Velasquez with the overhead. Melvin to his goalkeeper. Didn't take too many chances with back passes after what happened a, a while ago. On by Oscar. Velasquez again just spins off his head and gathered by Bazanov. Oh, that was a long range shot from a long way out from Oscar. He's just had Basanov scrabbling back a little bit. Caught it first time and he was only half a metre or so wide. It's been an enjoyable opening. Six and a half minutes. Basanov. Makarov. 
Right underneath, well, that's actually disappeared out of the, uh, the arena to where some of the fast food stands are behind us. <laughs> well, we're this way to the beach volleyball arena, that one. Konarov back to Bazanov. Bowled out, but bowled too long by the goalkeeper. Just a little over exuberant trying to get the ball forward. Now Portillo, very experienced, played in at Barcelona and also played in Italy as well. Goalkeeper and captain. More experienced members in the El Salvador team. That was Makarov's header. Another shot. Brilliantly done on the turn again by Augustin this time. Just a little bit too high. The CONCACAF qualifying was a straightforward knockout competition. Salvador beat the US Virgin Islands 10-1 in their quarter-final. Panama 4-2 in the semis before drawing losing out to Mexico. <laughs> Russia involved in a nine-goal thriller against Spain in their final. Here's a chance for the Russians to get another goal. Nikolaev is seen his shot blocked. Augustin's got down injured here, just clutching his head after diving in with a challenge. I think he just lost his footing slightly. Augustin was caught by Nikonarov. No malice in the challenge. He was just literally trying to get back to the ball. All right, Russian fans in the house, where are you at? I guess it'll just come off and take yeah, a, a breather for a couple of minutes, give a substitute chance to come on in this excellent hey, Madomo. Restart with a drop on. That's our fourth pick. And to our left, of course, the other one out here. Interesting to watch the different techniques of the players just flicking the ball up or flicking it with the outside of the foot or just helping it on its way. As we said many a time already today, it's a vastly different set of skills from playing on grass or on a hard court, futsal court. Here's a chance for Batra. Yes, oh dear! What a chance it was as well, and he's completely missed in front of goal. And that was a glorious opportunity for El Salvador to take the lead. And it's not been taken. Just came to the outside. He set up beautifully. It was all on his own. And El Salvador will know that they've got to take those kind of chances against a team of Russia's quality. Exxon. Won back to back world titles, the Russians in Ravenna 2011, in Tahiti 2013. Didn't appear in the last World Cup. Just out in the Bahamas a couple of years ago. Crash. Shen and Ikov to give him his full name. I'm quite glad he shortened it to Crash. It is by far the longest name in the Russian team. I'm too sure that I've managed to fit that on the back of his shirt, which is probably why he's gone for the short version. There he is again, Crash just bundling into the back of Batres. Soccer 
one of the 14 disciplines on display here in Qatar over the next week or so. 1,200 athletes from 97 different countries competing in these inaugural beach games. 16 men's teams and eight women's teams in the beach soccer. So they all get to play every day of the three days of group competition. For the semi-finals and the final and the medal matches rather on next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. An official sort of release of the day said it's showcasing Olympic sports with a twist. Handball, tennis, wrestling and football, of course, all Olympic sports, but here they're played on the beach. Quite intrigued by beach wrestling, actually. That's right to the back post and a simple tap in for Makarov. And Russia have got themselves back in front with 32 seconds remaining in the first period. That miss from Batres not too long ago. They will prove costly at the end of this first period. Alexey Makarov with a simple tap into beat Portillo. Tell what by Elma. Oh, didn't quite set himself. Seen some spectacular goals All today. Right. I'm sure we'll see right. plenty more right. as this tournament progresses. It's quite interesting, actually. Batres, who missed that chance a moment or so ago, is actually nominated for one of the best beach soccer goals of the year, but a fairly simple one he did manage to take. That's well played, Helmut. Good covering on the line behind his goalkeeper. As the hooter goes for the end of the first period. And an exciting period it was as well. Russia got themselves in front. Popper in with the opening goal before Batres was able to level. And then Russia, just a couple of moments, even less maybe before the hooter went. Makarov with a simple tap in at the back post to beat Portillo for a second time. Batres missed what was a relatively simple chance for his side at half, at the third of the game, way through the game. It's El Salvador won. Russian Federation team. Hey, what's up, guys? The Latinos, the Latinos, the Italians. I want to see El Salvador dancing. Come on, anyone from El Salvador? Come on, yes. Let's go. I'll be shy. Who's gonna dance? Let's go. Vamos, señorita. Vamos, chica. Target for El Salvador, just a five for, for Russia. There's no fouls given away, both goalkeepers called into action on three occasions. So had those two clearances off the line as well for El Salvador to deny Russia and a potential own goal when Personov managed to recover just in time. Okay. Well, you see their side score a goal, the El Salvador fans, they'll be hoping for more in the second period. Oh, look at the screen, who is that? Hi. Hola, chica. Russia, Iran and oh, Italy, down. you would feel ahead of the tournament. <laughs> The favourites for the gold medal. So don't rule out Spain either. Some very talented players in their ranks these days. It's good to 
see all ages coming out to watch the competition. Who knows, maybe athletes of the future. It's the inaugural you know, World Beach Games here in Doha in Qatar. And everybody getting into the spirit of things, which has been great to see for the opening day of competition. So the city skyline all around, wherever you look. Just over there to the left is the, is the beach volleyball, it's just over there. Be kicking into life soon. But it will be Russia in the red getting us underway for the second period. All right, back to the ball game. Oh! That's an early corner. Paparotin, who scored the opening goal of the game with that well placed free kick. Just seen his first shot of the second period blocked. Crash will take the corner. Paparotin again. He's uh, disappeared way into the sky. Right underneath it. Salvador failed to qualify for the World Cup this year, the third successive time they've failed to make it to the World Finals. This is a good opportunity for them to showcase what they can do on a world stage. So no Olympic gold medal, of course. This is designed to give the beach athletes a chance of winning medals. Romanov. Salvador throw. Salvador from the CONCACAF region, of course. Central and North America and the Caribbean. Tossing away by Batres, but get the better of Paparotti and all the goalkeeper. A simple challenge. Back across goal from Romanov. What a chance that was for Russia to go into a two goal lead. Give them a two goal cushion, rather. Well, the shot from a long way out is into the netting behind. Ostrovsky's goal. Change of goalkeeper for the second period for the Russians. Even Ostrovsky, the man that's come on. Brilliant overhead again, just wide from Novikov. It's a great skill flicking the ball up for the overhead kick. It's a, a move you see a lot in beach soccer. See it in the 11 aside game, of course, but. Sometimes it's penalised by a referee for a high foot if there's a defender around, not in beach soccer. You can't actually prevent the overhead, you can only try and block it. That's another brilliant overhead that time from Agustin. Here's their big goal threat, Agustin. Competitive in central midfield in the second half. Agustin with the header. Hooked away by Novikov. Chinese referee has spotted a, an infringement. It's a foul for Russia, it's Velasquez that's been penalised. With a drop ball. Brother, brother. From Morocco, Rolf, Casablanca, Casablanca, Rolf, or Medellin. 
Well, we started with a drop ball. Okay, now we have hit. The free kick was actually given to El Salvador. I thought the free kick had gone the other way against the Russians, but it is the player that's fouled that's going to have to take it. Velasquez. All right, here we go. way out to the far side, but here it's a chance against Ostrovsky to level things up. Too high, just too high. It's a good effort. Hit with real pace. Was rising over the crossbar there. Shishin. Released quickly by Ostrovsky. Old goalkeeper's come out and claimed it well, Portillo. Velasquez. And we go. Paparazzi just been told to calm things down. They uh, just tried to stop the goalkeeper releasing the ball quickly. Jose Portillo and Paparazzi warned by the referee. Just a little bit over aggressive. Shishin. Sent that back towards his own goal. That's going to be a throw in. It's a little bit untidy from Russia at the moment. The throw in given away to El Salvador. Oh, brilliant strike by Portillo. Pushed away by Ostrovsky. No one was following up. Well, the goalkeeper and captain, the 30 year old, with a vicious strike. Hebert. Oh, it's come oh, off the defender who cut over the bar of Shishin. Could have gone anywhere. Unfortunately for him, it's just gone over the bar. Ebert. Away by Romanov. Crash. Ebert. Velasquez. Trying to find an angle for the shot. And does find the angle for the shot to level things up. Brilliantly done. Francisco Hernando Velasquez. Makes it 2 2 with 6.47 to go in the second period. Yes. And you can't keep El Salvador down. Russia have looked untidy, a little bit disjointed. And El Salvador have capitalised on that. After three attempts and a fourth one, they finally got it. So 2 2. And we're going to have a tie. All two. Russia to kick things off again. So again, it'll be chipped up for Makarov. In fact, he's gone for the, the low shot this time. That's why you put a man on the post. The bear was there just in case it was about to creep inside. It went wide in the end. Back to Portillo. Try his luck again. Had one a moment or so ago, which eventually led to the goal. Indirectly. Portillo. Hebert. Darwin. Posted long. It was an awkward one for the defenders to deal with. Shakrin. Makarov. Picked to the ball by Hebert. Did well. Chakrin. Melvin comes on to add a little bit of pace into the back line, goes straight to Mark Novikov. Makarov. Challenge from Batres, real tussle going on between those two. And eventually it's Makarov that's penalised. Is not happy about the challenge, it's fair to say. He's stuck to his guns, Patris. Makarov was quickly back to his feet. And just a little tug of the arm, as you see, from the Russian. It was a tug of the shirt from Batres in fairness before that, but 
not spotted, so free hit goes to Batres. Bounced awkwardly, goalkeeper had his positioning right behind it though. Ostrovsky. Batres working really hard, that was his header. Back again. Novikov shot blocked. Challenged by Exxon, which was a little bit dangerous, not given as a foul as he tackled Shakarin. Now Exxon on the overhead! Oh, off the top of the crossbar. Wow. Well, that might have been slightly controversial had he gone in because Russia felt they should have had a, a free kick before that after a foul potentially by Exxon. Great technique. Just flicked the top of the bar. that El Salvador hadn't reached the World Cup Finals since Tahiti. They actually reached the quarter-finals in 2013. Had a very good run to the last eight. Had a bit of pushing and swimming on the sideline. Shishin thought the ball should have been his, but in the end it was given to Augustin. word is competitive between these two teams at the moment. Shishin. Hoisted long again, goalkeeper came out and clattered into Nikola Rov and slightly delayed reaction from the keeper but they've both gone down injured. It was a, a clash of hips which could often be a little bit sore. Well, Tio seemed all right and then thought, no, hang on a second. Uh, that was rather hurt. Well, that rather hurt me. A bit of treatment. Boris Nikonorov is back on his feet. Big physical presence, Russia, as you can imagine. the side for the goalkeeper. Bit of uh, magic spray and I'm sure he'll be fine to continue. We've got four minutes and eight seconds left of the second period. It is Gallo, the El Salvador coach, kicking every ball at the moment. He'd be delighted that his side have got themselves back on level terms. Portillo. Loops one goalwards again, but just off target this time. Romanov. Shishin. Strovsky. Shishin. To his goalkeeper, not too sure he was expecting that one back again there. Ostrovsky. Shishin. Paparotin. Continuing to press and try and keep Russia at bay. It's out of the reach of Romanov, who just died to try and get a chest on it. Augustin. Melvin. Paparazzi! Just over the top. I thought that was going to loop in over Portillo, who was scrabbling back. Didn't know too much about it. Would have been a crazy, crazy goal okay, and then dropped in. Foul, surely. James Scott got the ball caught between his legs. here for El Salvador. Ebert. On 
almost back to his own goal line with his runner. Ostrovsky stands in between him and El Salvador going in front for the first time and a good save as well. Fiercely struck, palmed away by the goalkeeper. Amazing the pace these players generate on the ball. Goalkeeper's just lost it. He's penalised. Zemskov again. Just leaning into the goalkeeper. a little bit in this first half, Portillo. Here's the shot again a moment or so ago from Hebert. Goalkeeper did well, just pushing the ball away to the side where no one could follow it in. <laughs> 2.25 to go in the second period. Poised El Salvador 2, Russian Federation right, well, 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game will have the last match to win off from the Russian Brazil. Portillo with a shot again, Ostrovsky. Right, Palms the ball away to safety and throw it this time to El Salvador. Salvador. Okay. He's going out of play off Makarov. They're there. Portillo allowed to run with the ball, perhaps a little bit too far than the Russians would have liked, but all out of play on the far side. Still another game to come after this one, Morocco against the Brazilians. Already a Moroccan flag has appeared over on the far side between the Two blue and white El Salvador flags. Shakrin. Good header away. Oh, the whistle's gone. Augustin was on to the next player. We've got a player down on the pitch. It's a head injury, the reason the referee has stopped the play. Francisco Herrera is the. Uh, Adil Agucha, by the way. Referee that end. Salvador, another one for Batres to try his luck against Ostrowski, who's made a couple of good saves from long range free kicks so far. Just a moment or so ago, what can he do here? Doesn't need to make the save this time. Clatters into the CT behind the goal. Oh, wow, we almost got hit. Tress again, blocked by the legs of Shishin before he could cause any problems. Salvador finishing this second period strongly though. I think we'll probably find they've had more efforts on goal when the stats come up than Russia have had. Towards Elma. Well done by Portillo. Ebert. Paparazzi with the ball away only as far as Exxon. Portillo. 22 seconds remaining. Tries his luck again. Paparazzi in front of his goalkeeper this time. He gets another block on in and had Portillo scrabbling back and the ball doesn't go out of play. Just flicked up off the sand and keeping things alive once again. Shishin. Well done, Portillo. Good save. To the corner towards Batres, keeps it in play. Time. But there will be no more time. There goes the quarter to end the second period. So good battling performance here by El Salvador. Having trailed twice, they've come from behind twice. And at the end of the second period, 
with El Salvador 2, okay. Russian Federation 2. Oh, Very good. Everybody having fun? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Russian fans, all oh, yeah. good. Always the hands wave left, right, left, right. I said left and right. Why are y'all switched up? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, El Salvador! Raise your hands up! Come on! Left! Right! Left! Right! Come on! Don't worry! I want to see your hands up! Let's go! I want to see you dancing! Okay, I want to see the hands up! Russia making their way back out for the third period here. 12 minutes to go in this finely poised encounter. People have been encouraged to show their thanks moves during the uh, the break. Good atmosphere here. So that big band of El Salvador fans you can just see over on the far side. There's that Moroccan flag in the middle. Morocco up next against Brazil. 2-2 two, two here, Makarov and Paparazzi in for Russia, Batres and Velasquez with the goals for El Salvador. It's been a good effort from the Central Americans so far. Paparazzi in right at the start of the third period, clatters a shot against the post. Okay, here we go, back to the game, the last 12 minutes of the match. Right. I was trying to take a goal throw. Rudy Skaya will be delighted with the way his side have applied themselves in the opening two periods. Inspired really by their captain, Portillo, has had a couple of great efforts on goal and has made a couple of important saves as well. Makarov. Strovsky remaining in goal for Russia at the start of the third period. On the volley! And Russia retake the lead. It's Alexei Makarov who fires home. No chance that time for Portillo. And for the third time in the match, Russia take the lead. Makarov with his second goal of the game, crisply struck, out of the reach of the goalkeeper. And once again, El Salvador have to come from behind once more. Who are you supporting? Everyone. Nice well defended by Russia, preventing the 
Shot straight away from El Salvador, back to Portillo. Tries his luck again, good save, Ostrovsky. Armed away, second time Portillo has been denied. Brilliantly struck again by the goalkeeper. And good keeping by his opposite number as well, Ostrovsky, who continues to push the ball away from danger. Bucks on. To the overhead, blocked by Novikov. And a follow-up shot from Batres goes high over the top. There's the shot from Portillo, fine save. Good height for the goalkeeper in fairness, but still had to get across. Okay, after the game, Stella, 3-2. Ostrovsky. Russian, Stella, the lead now. Makarov, on a hat-trick. As he clipped there by Exxon, play continues, Elmer. Oh dear, and Makarov has uh, taken out his own retribution there. Felt he'd been fouled. Referee wave, play on, and then clattering into Elmer to bring him down and give away a free kick, which El Salvador have shown they're perfectly capable of converting. Angle's a little bit tight though for Elmer. Would have preferred this uh, a few more meters towards the centre. But if he can get enough pace and whip on the ball, who knows what can happen. Once again, don't forget, after this game, we'll still have the last match between Morocco versus Brazil. Shot for the free kick is uncontested, of course. No players allowed between ball and goal. That diagonal line out to the corner okay. flag. This one, this time again. Elmer against Ostrovsky. Driven well! Yeah, Tips up to the bar by the goalkeeper. Well, the El Salvador coach was so celebrating that. Can't believe the goalkeeper got a hand to that. Another brilliant stop to deny El Salvador a third equaliser. Paparazzi, Portillo palms it away this time. Both goalkeepers called into action already in this third quarter. Agustin, keeper came out then had to backtrack, but Agustin just got his bearings wrong and chips it wide. Well, here's that shot again from Elma. Fingertips on the goalkeeper to turn it onto the goal frame. He knows how close he was. For the next game, it's Morocco and Brazil. We got Moroccan fans in the house. Morocco fans in the house. How about Brazil? Fans of Brazil. On the way. Ostrovsky. Made down here in okay. Russia, El Salvador. Paparazzi. Oh, into the near area. And snapped home by Nikonarov from close range. Helped on by Shishin. It was a great move by the Russians. Three players involved and a simple tap in for Nikonarov. It all started with a ball out from the goalkeeper. That is quality football. And Russia lead by four goals to three. Okay, Russia, you get the hands here. Yeah. <laughs> 9.03 to go in the match. Oh, so way we play from Ebert, be a Russian throw. Left in the game. Makarov. Shishin. Uh, Shakun, rather. Shkarin. That was a good run. Felt he was brought down by Augustin inside the penalty area, but the referee said no penalty. I think the look says it all. Referee Xia Liang not interested in giving the penalty. Was there any contact? The 
faintest of touches. He knew he was coming, I think. We start with the drop ball. El Salvador will try and build once again to get themselves an equaliser. Portillo. Hebert. Headed out by Paparazzi. Velasquez, I think, just overran the ball in the corner. Play by the look of it. Russia had possession back anyway with Ostrovsky. Shishin. Shishin on the volley wide. Portillo in a bit of a rush now. Ebert just inside seven minutes to go. Oscar, Velasquez, really tight to that goal line. Awkward one for the goalkeeper, just popped up off the sand, but Portillo had his body right behind it. Oscar, volley oh. goalwards again and only just too high. Four Russian changes as they make, they change all their outfield players. It's good effort, that. Need a little bit more dip on the end of it, though. Velasquez. Exxon. Falling backwards when he hit the shot. Didn't get the power required to fully test the goalkeeper. OK, smile! Oscar. away with Makarov, the decision of the throw, Batres, there allows it to run back to Portillo, and a bet. And now we're back to the blind end, Sal, Fire and Perry. Bear. First time ball in, but nobody on that far Four portion nine, of the penalty four, area. Portillo to Melvin this time. Oh, just run out of play by Velasquez. Need to get a goal quickly here, El Salvador, if they are to try and salvage something from the match. No draws, of course, in beach soccer. To this level. After the three 12 minute periods, it would be extra time and then potentially penalties. Three points for a winning normal time, two. After extra time, and just one with the penalty shootout. Shishin. Paparatin. Given away to Batres, good challenge yeah. by Shishin, who just got across. He may have injured himself in the process. It was a really good tackle because Batres once again had got a good sight of goal. It was one of those block challenges as Batres hit the ball. Shishin would have just felt the give in his ankle. Yeah. 
very good challenge. Just yeah, took the sting out of the shot. Yeah. And it was much needed as well. Okay, the catch there, just in a white shirt, just giving his instructions. Doesn't say too much. Was the man at the helm when they won those world titles in 2011 and 2013? Third place finish in 2015 for the Russians. An awkward bounce for the goalkeeper. Romanov. Well blocked. Nikonarov with the overhead. Melvin, who was right behind him, allowing him no space at all. Shishin. Comes off Exxon. But Russia have survived a scare on a couple of occasions. El Salvador coming back, and occasionally they look like they're about to present another opportunity to El Salvador, but the to take one as yet in this third period. Well defended by Shishin, 2.36 to go. Portillo again tries his luck, it was Romanov in front of his goalkeeper. Elmer, well, well wide. by Zemskov, I haven't seen too much of him in the game. So far Zemskov, just getting some fresh legs on for the final. Zemskov again involved. Shishin. Ostrovsky, took the ball nicely. Shishin, Zemskov. Came off the head of Novikov, straight through to Portillo. Great ball bowled out with pace to Elma. Forced out wide by two Russians, though. I think that's gone for a corner. So this might be a chance for El Salvador. Clock kicking, ticking down now. Just over a minute to go. Throw in this time. Another corner. Good pressure, but can they make the most of it? Tussle in the centre with Alma going over. Now Zemskov, chance for Shishin. Good save, Portillo, and add to Zemskov. <laughs> over the top. <laughs> Strong challenge by Skarin. Makarov. Well read by a bear, Batres! Oh. Well, that was the chance. So many But off target once again, just uh, maybe snatching up the shots a little, realising there's only a few seconds left on the clock now. Well, it's been a brave effort by El Salvador, but they're just going to come up short in the end. Battle Russia hard, they match them all the way, they level things up twice. But the points go Russia's way in the opening game. A couple of goals from Makarov. Paparotin got things underway with a well struck free kick, and Nikolarov also added to the tally. Velasquez and Batres leveled it up twice for El Salvador, but in the end, the Russians just proved too strong for them over the course of the 36 minutes. And the final score in the opening game for both these teams, El Salvador 2, the Russian Federation 4. Do we have fans in Brazil in the building? Are we got Brazilians?
Do we have Brazilians in the house? Nobody? <laughs> We're probably on Hawaii. But we got a lot of fans from Morocco. Morocco, make some noise. I heard Moroccans are good at dancing, but nobody's dancing. Nobody wants to represent. El Salvador fans and athletes, thank you very much. So the highlights there, what was that? An entertaining game, El Salvador, 32 shots, just eight on target. 27-13, Russia, they were much more economical in front of goal. Only scored the four, though. Six saves made by their goalkeeper Ostrovsky and nine made by...